I am Dr. Ayala Sami from Chennai. I am going to show you a difficult situation in nasal and sinus surgery under local anesthesia that is giving the nasal blocks, that spina palatine block, which is very important. This is my childhood photo, six months old photo. This is a gross septal deviation to the right side. You can see that BNE on the left side, fairly okay. So the first step is to pack the nasal cavity with a solution of 4% lignocaine and adrenaline in the ratio of 1 is to 1. Generally pack into the crevices, that is into the middle meters. Now right side DNA, <coughs> see very badly deviated septum, hardly you can see the middle terminate. Again generally packing the middle terminate, middle meters crevices generally after repeated decongestion. Now I am giving the spinopratin block on the left side which is quite easy because I have a lot of working space. Unless you give a good spinopalatine or a greater palatine block you can't do nasal or sinus surgeries under local anesthesia comfortably without patient having pain. <clears throat> now I have come to the right side Hardly I can see the spinopalatine area. After several decongestion, I could get some space. So still I am, able, I am able to visualize, but with difficulty I am giving, but I am not sure because when see the septal deviation, I couldn't land the needle properly. And the needle is slipping because of the septal deviation. So with blindly, I am giving that block. Many times it works for me. Sometimes when you give blindly, it may not work unless you have very good experience. So in this kind of situations, after uh, giving the spina palatine block blindly, I go for the greater palatine that is transoral greater palatine block. I am palpating the greater palatine foramen, which is the only foramen in the hot palate, which will allow the needle to go in. I palpated, but I couldn't feel it really. So I am again giving blindly a, the block but the needle is not going in. No other area will allow the needle to go in. The needle has been already bent for around one and a half centimeters. I am giving multiple pricks. Still I couldn't find out the foramen. Which is very important because I have taken the patient under local anesthesia. So again I am palpating for the foramen. This time I could little feel it. So see, the needle goes very well. The whole bent area has gone in and I am gently infiltrating the solution of around 1 ml that is rupiwakin and the adrenaline that is 0.5% rupiwakin. I have infiltrated which will be very tough always aspirate and infiltrate if it is uh, in the blood vessel blood will come otherwise if air comes it is in nasopharynx if it is in right plane it will be very tough to inject it will take some time to infiltrate now I am just withdrawing the needle see the whole length of the needle is coming out thank you for watching see you in another video